boys, if a cold break, you stop punching, you take a step back. Don't deliberately throw punches on the back of the head and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. I hope you're as excited as the fans are in the Oval Arena because this fight is going to be fun. It's going to be explosive as long as it lasts. And either guy has the power to put the lights out of his opponents. The line, according to Joe Fortenbaum at Caesars, has not changed. Minus 900, plus 600 yard. The difference here, 18 to 1 odds for Yard to win on points. 5 to 1 odds for Better BF to win on points. But the knockout is what everybody is expecting this evening. Bernardo soon alongside Hall of Famers Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley. See the movement already from Yard. That's what he's going to have to do. Keep changing his position. Can't sit no longer than two seconds at a time. That's too much movement. It's too jittery this early in the fight. It's too jittery. And that is the anticipation of all the power and the strength that you've heard from Better Biev. Yard needs to respect Better Biev on defense, but he's got to settle down. I know it's early, but he's got to start to settle down. Especially when you're a power puncher and Yard depends on his uh, feet being planted in order to generate that power. I, I like it. I, I like it. I like it because it's going to confuse and occupy Better Biev. You know, I like that little jittery movement with the hand feints and, 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 and hand gestures. It's going to slow him down. It's going to, he thinks that Yard is going to counter. Boom! There it, is. It, there it is. And the more space he keeps uh, uh, away from Better Biev, the more opportunities he's going to have. He's going to be able to land clean shots because Better Biev, he runs. He runs through red lights on, uh, quite often trying to land his power. That's why he was dropped by Callum Johnson and Jeff Page early in their fights. That's the best chance that Yard has is to try to catch Archer Better Biev early, but there's a risk with that. And it's going to be, Better Biev's going to have trouble early, Ooh, unless he lands a big shot. He hurt. Speed of Yard because very fast twitch to foot and hand, and he's definitely got the up in that category. So Better Biev has to adjust to the speed and quickness of Yard. There's a nice right hand followed by a left hook from Yard that shook Arthur Better Biev. And you hear the crowd chanting for Anthony Yard. Left counter from Better Biev, who is steady and sets up that one two. And those early nerves from Yard is normal. It's normal. Good shot right there from Yard that got Better Biev's attention. But he got to be careful. He's throwing that hook with his head still on that line. That looping right hand is there for the taking for Better Biev. The quickness of Anthony Yard, probably his biggest asset uh, against. Better BF, who has an extensive amateur career, 18 knockouts in 18 victories, but it's the quickness and the movement that Yard has tonight that is setting him off. Yeah, all that smoke and mirrors, that's what it is. That's what Yard is doing right now, smoke and mirrors. He, he, he act like he's going to do something, but he's not. But he's just buying time. Body work from Better BF. That's Woo! right there from Archer Better BF. But he got to stay off the ropes. Yes. Too early for him to be on those ropes if he's going to win this fight. Well, he proved that he could last the first round against Arthur Betabiev. The... Tunde Ajay, a very different demeanor than what we saw in the first fight. None of this Lions in the camp stuff. It, it, it was a lot more instructions given in that corner than probably saw in that whole Kovalev fight. You live and you hopefully learn along the way. Ooh, there's a missed hook right there. Right now, what you're seeing is better be if now. He's trying to recalculate. I told you, he's not, he doesn't have the fastest hands or feet, but he depends on timing and positioning. So he's trying to line up yard with that right hand. The thing that better be if does really well is he doesn't hit Ooh. an opponent where the target is. He tries to anticipate where they're going to duck and where they're going to be. 38 years old. The question with Arthur better be if is, when will he fight his age? And uh, he's got a long amateur career. The quickness here from Anthony Yard evident as he lands a nice double left hook. Now another left to the chin. Right now the speed of Yard is what's giving better be a problems. The movement, the speed, the hand speed, the quickness. 
jittery move, movement. Better be needs to pick up his jab. That's going to slow Yard down. That's going to keep Yard in place for that extra split second that Better be of needs to land a big shot. Better be of an impressive knockout artist. All of his fights have ended by knockout, but so is Anthony Ward as he gets flipped there with a nice right hand. And there's another right, and here comes the firefight that we knew was gonna happen. Now the fight started. It's the first big punch that was landed. And Yard right now is taking it well. Nice looping right there from Anthony Yard. That's where he needs to stay away from the ropes yep. in the corner. You have no room to move. This isn't time for the Mayweather roll. It's time to be disciplined and stay out of the line of fire, especially mm. early in this fight. Oh, nice Ooh. straight uppercut from Anthony Yard. Right <laughs> <there's> attention. <laughs> Beautiful placed uppercut right there. And he does it again. It's a dangerous shot, but he can get away with it because he's so quick. 14 of 22 of Yard's knockouts have been inside the first three rounds. So he tends to start strong, and that's exactly what he's doing here in round two against Archer Betterbia. Well, it just seems like when Betterbia gets hit, he just get meaner. He gets tougher. Some guys, honest to God, true. When you hit them, that's when they, they open up. That's when they wake up. That jab right there from Better Beer probably felt like a right hand to y'all. You know who used to Stick be like jab. that? Marco Antonio Barrera. The fight didn't start until you landed something good, and then it was on. Antonio Diaz was the same way. You can feel the tension in the air that one shot from either guy can put the other down and finish the fight. Two rounds in the books here in this three belt fight. Archer better be of the champion. This is beautiful work right here. Yard is going to have to stay off those ropes right there, but that was a nice counter off the ropes with the right hand. And exiting right there, that weak side, avoiding the right hand of better be of. But that uppercut right there, that was a signature moment for me during this round. Right up the middle. I don't care where your hands are placed, the middle is always open. Anytime the hands release from your face, there's an opening right up the middle and Yard taking advantage of that. Yard doing a good job on the inside and tying up and staying away from harm's work, but harm's way. But what he needs to do is keep his back up off those ropes. He needs to grab a hold of Better Be If and force him back to the center of the ring or turn him into the ropes and work. Physically, Better Be if does not fight like a 38-year-old, but his skin marks up like that of a 38-year-old. And we've seen several headbutts already. He overcame a cut against Marcus Brown uh, to get the win. And Anthony Yard here going to work quickly with the looping right hand. All Yard has to do is keep his feet moving. He just has to keep walking along the ropes until he gets back to the center of the ring. That's how you keep your engine moving, you stay alert, and you stay out of harm's way. Mouthpiece comes flying out there from Anthony Yard. We see his physique, Dre. He looks impressive. What does it do for a fighter in a fight? It's tough because early in a fight, you'll feel that, that, that mass and that power, and that kind of physique can make you explosive, but it's only for short periods of time. That type of body will get tired on the other side of six rounds, we especially saw, if it's a high-paced fight. We saw that against uh, Sergey Kovalev, where he was in great shape, had him almost out in the eighth and ninth round, and then in round 11, he was stopped by a jab from the 35-year-old veteran. Nice body shot there with the right from Arthur Betterbia. You're starting to see the technique already of Yard starting to break down. He's starting to get hit more and more. That stab jab down to the body is working for Better Bia. If you can't hit the head, hit the body, and that's what he's doing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yard has given up a lot of energy, Tim, from the very outset, all on anticipation, anticipating Better Bia landing that big shot, embracing for what it feels like He's got to settle down. He still needs to be alert on defense, but he can't allow himself to be drained because it's a long fight up ahead. That stab jab, just pay attention to it. It's going to open up the right hand over the top or the left hook. Just keep paying attention. The jab right down to the, the level changing jab to the midsection. One of the things that gets overlooked because he's such a ferocious puncher is the fact that Arthur Better Biev was a two time Olympian. He had over 300 amateur fights and you know, we tend to forget that he has those movements. He's not quick, but he knows how to box. Well, Better be it gets away with a lot, too, because nobody wants to open up to hit him. <clears throat> he's very hittable. He's been dropped. 
and you can see even in this fight, Yards landed clean shots. But nobody wants to open up and take the risk of him countering and landing with a big shot in return. You got to have the gall to not show better be of respect on offense, only show him respect on defense. Look at this already. Better be if has already gotten gotten uh, yard to stand still. Already, that's what power punchers do. They land heavy shots on you. They go down to the body and they slow your legs down. It's a good counter move right there from Better Be. Just took a half step back and landed a one-two as Yard overreached with a left hook. The face of Arthur Better Be, though, the right hand of Anthony Yard doing some damage under the right eye. Over to the left eye of Arthur Better Be. Look, no discipline jab from Yard. That's a problem. No discipline jab. But where you're seeing the jab from, you're seeing it from Better Be. Woo! From the South Boston, there, good finish from Arthur Better Be. His part reputation and a lot of it is substance. And it's the style of Arthur Better Be. He comes forward, he has a good enough defense to get out of the way a lot of times and just to block and parry shots and then keep marching forward. He doesn't have a high energy style. And that bodes well for a guy who's late in his 30s. Oh, there's a right hand that shook Anthony Yard. Here comes a left hook from Archer Better BF. He's starting to find a home for his shots. He's getting steady and he's starting to find openings in Anthony Yard, who's more settled Ooh. and getting clipped. The legs underneath him are now wobbly. And here comes Archer Better BF. Told you, dominate mid range. It's a wrap now. There's a right hand from Arthur Better be He just retired the beast, Joe Smith Jr. And now the beast from the East, Anthony Yard, is where he doesn't need to be, Dre, against the ropes. He's against the ropes. You can't fight well even with your back against the ropes. If you're going to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arthur Better be it needs to be right there in the center of the ring where you can get full maximum power and let your shots go. On the ropes, you're sitting duck. Better be if knows it, and Yard knows it. But the fatigue has already set in. It set in the, in the first two rounds. Part nerves, part physique, physique, and it, it, it's not looking good for him right now. This fight isn't over, but better be if it's starting to warm up. They're both looking to set up that overhand right, and both missed it simultaneously. But that is a shot that could create danger for either Yard or Archer better be if. I just continuously looking at that left hook, looking at that right arm, the right guard of Yard. Look at Yard's mouth. It's wide open. Yeah, it's wide open, too. His mouth is wide open. But that left hook, it got into, got into there that last round, and it got in again in this round cleanly. And better be if it's starting to find his range. He's found Ooh. a range that's comfortable to fight in where nice counter. Nice left hook there. And he hurt him with that. That buzzed the better be of a little bit. Can he capitalize on this moment? And oh. Yardo gets caught with the right hand coming in, and that's the danger. You want to play with fire? You want to exchange with Archer Better be it? Well, you better be ready to take some fire in return. Both guys trading bombs. We told you as long as this lasts, it's going to be explosive and entertaining. And Yard could do a lot better by just coming behind his jab. He's flicking it. He's got to throw a power jab every now and again, just like Better Biev is. Come behind the jab, two jabs and a right hand. But what he's doing is he's leading with the right hand, falling over his feet and allowing Better Biev to counter. That takes more energy than to be technically sound, throw your jab and throw the right hand behind it. You can't lose your technique in moments like this. You got to actually rely on it. This is regular speed for Arthur Better Biev. Yard looking a little bit slower here in the fourth round but he's coming forward he's trying to earn the respect of archer better be who says how about you eat one of these uppercuts and now the left eye of anthony yard starting to get inflamed as the bell ends here see better be with yard against the ropes and he doesn't have to look for him he knows where he's at and yard can't escape so better be throw short shots that's not a short shot but within that same combination, he threw a nice short right hand that traveled two or three inches. And Yard has no quit in him. He's fighting back even though he is fatigued. And at times, being outgunned, there's times where Yard is giving just as much as he's receiving. But he's paying for it. He's fatigued. We talk about pressure and fatigue. And sometimes it's the pressure exerted on you by a fighter like 
Archer better be at that causes for it's too it's too prone yep. it's mental and it's physical and fighting at home <laughs> and now you get a guy who is known for fading in Anthony Yard does he just go and get everything he has here or does he try no, to? No, I think he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's taking some punishment. He's trying to regroup. Then you'll see him march back in and let his shots go. He's got to figure it out because if you lose this fight, you don't know when you're getting another opportunity, and you will be written off. Right or wrong, that's how the game is. So he's got to find a way to get the job done tonight. Tonight is the opportunity with three belts on the line. Second time that Anthony Yard loses his mouthpiece, and referee Steve Gray with the warning here. But you think about the breather that he just got he's so tired man he's tired already all that muscle mass a jab from Sergey Kovalev in the 11th round stopped him in his first world title opportunity what is gonna happen here in the second time against one of the most ferocious punchers in the game in Archer better Biev. oh a jab nice up jab Ooh. Can't miss now. Technique is definitely faded by the wayside for Yard. Now he's going to be hitting the clip with clean shots. Right now he's seemingly taking it well. And he does have heart. Like Dre said, he will come back and he will try to contend against better being. Oh. But I don't know if that's a if that's a smart thing to do. I don't know if some of those punches from Yard are really bothering better be or if he's just trying to regroup because he got hit with a punch. But every time Yard lands a clean shot, you see better be if kind of get on his bike and kind of reset and start Good moving body work. Good body work right there. Nice ride to the body from Anthony Yard. There's the jab from Archer better be if. The chance from the fans trying to give their fighter, Anthony Yard, a little bit of energy, that extra push, that advantage that fighting at home brings. Yard protecting that body with that belt guard. There's a shot right to the belt line. I think both fighters need to be hitting to that body a lot more. Both. Oh, nice Counter left from Anthony Yard. Both guys exchanging right there. Oh! Big right hand. This is a fight, and it's a firefight, and anything can happen, and now it's Arthur Better Bien, who is taking a step back, but he counters his yard, tries to land a looping shot. Now you see Better Bien retreating, trying to use his legs. You see an urgency in yard because he knows he cannot lose this fight. Better Bien with his hands down. Yard with the looping left once again. And Yard is doing a better job this time than he did in the Kovalev fight. He's not shooting everything that he has. He's not punching himself out. He's landing a good shot. He's marching forward. He'll land another two good shots. He knows that he can't afford to punch himself out. <laughs> but here comes Better Bia. Yes. Better Bia with thudding shots. That's called experience. That's what you're seeing right now. Oh, experience. Nice uppercut from Archer Better Bia and the bell. This is the only thing that can separate these two men as thing heats up here after five rounds. Good ending right there. Beautiful right hand. Signature punch of the round, of that last round. By Better Bia, excuse me, by Yard. What Better Bia did was he was just buying himself some time. And he allowed Yard to come on strong. Use some up of some up use some up of his energy. And then he came back with his own offense at the end of the fight or the end of this round. Oh, we got a slight cut under the right eye of Anthony Yard. So already the worst for wear after that explosive fifth round. There's a right hand from Arthur Better Be. If the instructions in the corner were go low. I want you to start low and then go high. And now the blood is streaming under the right eye of Anthony Yard. He's got to wipe it away. He's got to stay focused. Let's see how Yard reacts to being cut here. He's never been cut as a pro, so it's uncharted territory for him. See, better be just biding his time. He's watching. He's looking. He knows that 
yard is bothered by the blood. And he's just looking to land one big shot, the right shot that he can't see. Yep, he's letting him work. He's letting him work, and he's letting him use up some more of his gas, and then he'll eventually step on the gas and start attacking you. Those are also moments where the 38-year-old Arthur better be at rest. He knows how to rest even while the action is taking place. This is his eighth title fight. The other seven ended by knockout. The last one in the second round against Joe Smith Jr. Prior to that, in the 10th, 9th, and 9th round, he also has a knockout in the 12th round as a pro, so his power carries late. This is great right here. Great offense from Yard. That's the punch right there that Yard needs to throw. The jab to the stomach. You can stay on the outside. If you throw it right, you can stay protected. And you still win. You drain the opponent. You can't just look at him and throw a flicking jab out there against a guy like Better Beev and expect him to respect, expect him to respect you. Is there a cut now on under the left eye of Better Beev? And there is now blood streaming from the eye of Archer Better Beev. It looks like his cut is worse than Anthony Yards just because of where it's at. It's a cut for a cut. We got ourselves a fight. Both fighters have been buzzed. Both fighters have been hurt. The experience, though, favors Better Beev. He's been there against Marcus Brown with the brutal cut. He had a, one round left, and he came out and finished that fight. I see a difference in Anthony Yard in his mentality. I don't see him with the the bright lights look on his face. I see him taking good shots. I see him tired, but regrouping and still looking for ways to try to win this fight. Trying to land that right uppercut is Anthony Yard. None of these lions in the camp stuff. This is a more serious, more mature Anthony Yard so far tonight. Left hook right there. Short shot, but landed heavy. Power jab right there. It doesn't look like much, but with your opponent's back to the ropes, and then you pile drive a straight jab to his chin. Another one right there. These seem like small shots, but they snap the head back. They dizzy your opponent. They start to, to weaken you, and they start to drain you. That's what heavy hands can do for a fighter. And we take a look at these CompuBox numbers, and when you look at the difference here, 57 to 52 in terms, in terms of power punches landed so far, the advantage of 102 over 79 overall for Archer Better Beev. And the cut is on the eyelid, so that, like we mentioned, it's in a worse place for Archer Better Beev, but it looks like they're doing a great job on it so far. His cut man is James Cook for Anthony Yard and Russ Amner for Arthur Better Beev. Amner, a, a complete professional when it comes to working cuts. Seventh round, Bernardo Suna alongside Hall of Famers Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley. And Anthony Yard and Arthur Better Beev giving a Hall of Fame worth performance here in the seventh round. I think both guys are putting on a great performance. Yes, they are. And the fight has really just started. Championship fights start about right now, right about that second half, that seventh, that seventh round. Both guys are cut. Both guys have felt the other's power. And I want to see who digs deep mentally and physically and with their game plan to pull away. Well, right now, it looks like Yard is digging deep, definitely. And it seems like he got a second win already. That's why he's pressing forward. And he's acclimated to the power. And when you land shots, you feel you can win. You feel you can win. That energizes you well, as well. And that's how you start to chip away at the psyche of a puncher is to, A, still be around, and then have the audacity to hit them back after they hit you. And that's what Yard is doing right now. The latest knockout in Yard's career has been in the seventh round. He's done that twice as a professional. So he's getting into that territory where his power begins to fade. And if either fighter can start to go to the body, that can be the difference maker. They both hit each other in the head a lot in this first six round, but nobody ha has had a, a dedicated body attack. You've seen a body shot here or there, but nothing that has been consistent. That right hand for Anthony Yard starting to find a home on the chin with Archer Better be it. Nice left now from Anthony Yard. Nice short left hook there from Arthur Betterbia. You see Yard with the second win right now. Start getting in. He's starting getting his rhythm now, Dre. He's getting in his rhythm. 
And if you're in the corner of the yard, you got to remind him, you got to talk him through these last seven rounds. Son, he's 38 years old. You can be tired tomorrow. Ooh. You don't have time to be tired right now. Beautiful right hand from Anthony Yard sends Arthur Better BF reeling backwards towards the ropes. And now the champion turns Yard around, lands a couple of uppercuts, a beautiful right hand, digs to the body, uppercut. And here we see the firefight we anticipated. Both fights, both fighters with their heart on their sleeve. Body Five shot is left. the key. The body is the key, then go back to the head. Sometimes when you get hit to the body, it reminds you to go to the body, and that's what Anthony Yard just did. You can't move that torso, you can't move that body, especially when the opponent is up against Ooh. the wall. Good shot right there for Good Anthony shot. Yard. Man, Ooh. he's trying to set up that Emmanuel Navarrete uppercut. Oh, well, better be if he's walking straight in and he squared up. Yep. Head right in the middle. Better be if he's wondering how is Anthony Yard standing up after everything that I've landed. There's that last right hand from Archer Better BF in an explosive seventh round here at the Oval Arena in London. Great exchanges towards the end of that last round. Both guys having their moments. You know, Yard seemingly getting his second win and also starting to get in a good rhythm. Landing beautiful counters on Better BF. And towards the end, you always see Better BF start to turn it up. And anytime Yard has his back against the ropes, he attacks and he does an extreme amount of damage. Tandi Ajay had mentioned the fact that that no sparring joke had expired. Well, this is the moment for Anthony Yard to step up. Round eight, this is a championship fight, three belts at stake, an opportunity to upend what his a fight for the undisputed title between Archer Better BM and Dimitri Bivol, but he could step in and completely change the landscape at 175 pounds. Better BF just missed a short right hand to the chin of Anthony Yard a few seconds ago. Finally. That's the punch that Yard needs down the stretch, the jab. Everything needs to be set up with the jab. If he wants to rest, he needs to use the jab. He needs to faint with it. He needs to throw it to the head, to the body. That's the punch. Only 29 jabs connected for Anthony Yard compared to 49 for Archer Better BF. So it's a punch that is necessary, especially against a power puncher like Archer Better BF. But it also allows Yard to conserve energy. That even when he punches, he can give up less energy by just stepping behind the jab. It's more efficient that way. But he, what Yard does a lot of times is reach with big shots, misses, then he has to get back in position. And he uses the jab more as a range finder because he's either looking for the left hook, the check left hook, or the right hand. There's that pile driving jab from Arthur Betterbiev. And yeah, that stick is coming out to play from Arthur Betterbiev. There's a difference. His is a damaging jab, and Yards is a probing jab. Nice right hand, and now Yard is hurt! Arthur Betterbiev puts him on the canvas. That's the punch that just missed about 30 seconds ago. He's done. He is done. Look at the referee. The fight will end. He's giving every opportunity. Steve Gray for Arthur, for Anthony Yard to continue. How will he deal with the onslaught from the beast? Nope. And Tunde Ajay steps in. And Arthur Better BM does it again. 19 victories, 19 knockouts, 8 championship fights. None have gone the distance because this man is a destructive force. Unstoppable, unpalpable, and once he gets going, the freight train just runs you over. And it's a great fight for both fighters. Yep. Um, I appreciated what I saw from both fighters because they both landed big shots in this fight. These are like heavyweights, and they took them well. Yard had moments. Better BF had moments. Yard got cut. Better BF got cut. And you can see Yard trying to summon the strength and summon the energy when there were times when his body didn't want to do it. And Better BF kept being who Better BF is, a plotting, calculated guy who has devastating power that can change the course of a fight with one punch. The punch that just 
knocked Yard down. He just missed that shot. He had been trying to get the same shot where Yard reaches for that uppercut, I believe it was. And all better be if doesn't just turn over a right hand. It travels maybe two, three inches. He missed it. He tried it again and landed it. Yard went down, and he probably didn't know where he was. He looked back at the corner, which probably got his coach alarmed. He continued, and then we just saw the finish. There's no doubt that this fight was tougher than I think better be of and his people imagine it yeah. to be. I think that Yard definitely did grow from the COVID, Kovalev loss. Um, he did some good things tonight. Uh, you know, I, I want to see him again. I want to see him again. And I think he will be back, you know, if he was given another opportunity and he worked his way back. I think he has the goods to be able to get, get back to a championship opportunity. You know who else grew from that Kovalev fight? Tunde Ajay, yeah. because he allowed uh, him to be fatigued and take shots maybe that he shouldn't have, and, and that ended up with that knockout loss with the jab. Tonight, he saw what he needed to see out of his guy, and he stepped in at just the right time. Yes, he saved him, no doubt about it. And I respect that when a trainer just steps inside and save their fighter and do the right thing at the right time. So he's allowing him to, to live and fight another day, you know? Imagine if he was brutally knocked out and slept cold. Then, I mean, mentally, that's tough to come back from, you know. So the fact that he stepped in and stopped the match and it wasn't yard, he did him a favor right there, a real big favor. An impressive victory uh, for Archer Beterbiev, and we're seeing exactly how this fight came to an end, Dre, and it was the right hand. First overhand right and then to the back of the ear. And here are the final CompuBox numbers. 136 total uh, punches landed for Arthur Better BF. 84 of those were power punches. And in terms of Anthony Yard, he had 111 uh, total punches landed. 75 of those were power punches. And when you look at these numbers, these guys went at it. There was moments in this fight, especially I think that seventh round when they went toe to toe, and it was an absolute slugfest between these two fighters, and it's what we expected. And Tim, when you look at the way they reacted, they both gave their best. Oh yeah, I, I, you know, without a doubt, I, I told you somebody was gonna get stopped in this matchup. It's too much firepower at hand. And you know, we talk about styles, styles, styles. Yes, styles do have a bit, play a big part in this. But it's more about the temperament of both fighters. Yard is an aggressive fighter. He likes that action. So does better be it. And when you have two guys that have the temperament that like to be aggressive, you can get fights like this. Yeah, it's, it's man, I, I, again, I respect both fighters. And, you know, that very well could have been better be it. Yeah. If, if Yard landed in the right spot. It just happened to be Yard tonight. Um, they not only made the fight, but... They fought a great fight for as long as it lasted. This is how we envisioned the fight taking place. And I think you had to, you had to favor better be coming in because of the experience and, you know, the amount of time he's been on top. But the yard should have nothing to be ashamed of, even though I know he's disappointed. Only his 26th professional fight, and you see the growth in Anthony Yard as we're ready for the official time of the stoppage with Thomas Schreiber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, one second of round number eight. The red corner signaled our referee, Steve Gray, to stop the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout. And still, WBO, WBC, and IBF Unified Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Arthur Baturbio! Arthur better be a impressive in victory, improves to 19-0. All of these by way of 